My name's Adrian Derbyshire and I live in Warrington, Cheshire. And what I decided to do um, as a former athlete, but also ambassador uh, for hate crime and also disability, is to visit as many schools as possible uh, within my local area it started out with and uh, to speak to as many as possible and talking about disability awareness, talking about going the extra mile to be positive role models uh, but also talking about the effects hate crime has on its victims and what is a hate crime and the education of that. Um, also as well it's part of a health and well-being campaign that I'm working with as well where I'm hand cycling a marathon a day so I have this phenomenal £25,000 hand cycle um, my sponsors spent money on and uh, it's a phenomenal piece of kit that it's a great conversational stopper that lots of children approach me regarding the hand cycle which I thought was great. Um, I also bring in you know my medals and uh, the Olympic torch, Paralympic lantern, Olympic lantern and memorabilia from Great Britain because you know when I do an assembly I get children up on stage with me, get them to wear a medal, a gold medal, feel the weight of it and then talk about my disability, talk about my life story where I went to bed, woke up in hospital three days later and due to a brain hemorrhage and then finding out I had a brain tumor that's inoperable and they gave me a week to live and I talk about that, I talk talk about my life very specifically about my disability but also talk about the positives of that and what I've managed to achieve whilst being disabled and it's really really important that message gets across that it's not what you can't do it's what you can and the motto of inspire believe and succeed um, it is part of that campaign and the kids are absolutely loving it I've spoke to 25,000 children this year and uh, it's now going to 2016 and 15 and 16 and uh, I'm very excited about uh, about it going into other countries as well. All around the UK, I've been hand cycling, just finished my 20 marathons in 20 days stint in uh, uh, Land's End. And, um, and hand cycling the TT circuit was, was way up there for myself in, in achievements, 38 miles. And uh, to hand cycle the TT circuit is absolutely amazing. It was fantastic. And uh, I've seen it many, many times on television and uh, I'm an avid motorcycle fan. But to actually have the opportunity where the track is closed down for me to, to hand cycle that and reaching speeds of 52, 54 miles an hour going downhill was just absolutely phenomenal. My meeting with David Cameron was, was quite a surprise actually. Um, the cabinet office emailed me whilst I was doing my 20 marathons in 20 day tour in the southern part of the UK and they said um, we want you know we want you to, to, to come down and, uh, and speak to the Prime Minister. He's heard about what's happening um, I was also very fortunate to you know, speak to one of my local MPs as well, David Moat, and he invited me down to the House of Commons so I could speak to him and chat to fellow MPs about hate crime and what I'm doing with the campaign. Uh, it was absolutely fantastic. It was my first time in, in Downing Street and um, it's not very accessible. It's very tiny in comparison to what you think it is, but it is. It, it, it was fantastic honor um, to, you know, for David to know, to know what I'm doing. And I mentioned to him that we've met very, I think two or three times prior to that, uh, the build-up to 2012 and uh, where he was playing tennis with Boris and, uh, and, and we had a good laugh about it as well. So, it, I, you know, I've met David Cameron a few times but it was a real honour to actually be invited to Downing Street to talk to him about my campaign. So, you know, it, it's, it's wonderful to, to hear and to see that it's actually getting out there to obviously the, the level of the Prime Minister. My advice um, to people who are being bullied is first of all, is to talk about it report it, speak to someone about it, don't isolate yourself. A lot, a lot of children who are struggling with bullying and stigma and, and hate crime isolate themselves because they don't want to be targeted. Uh, a little bit like myself when I was bullied, you know, I isolated myself. So the first thing is to get the confidence to speak to someone, speak to your parents, speak to the school and allow them to actually investigate what's happening and I guarantee they'll do something about it.